Hey, what's going on internet? In this video, I'm gonna show you a handful of amazing motion graphic techniques to create this awesome geometric sequence right here inside of After Effects. We have a lot of great concepts in this video as you can apply these ideas to your future projects any way that you see fit. Please be sure to drop a like on this video as it does help us out tremendously and let's get started. And as always, you can download this project file for free. So first I'm gonna show you how to create these 3D shapes which are very fun and easy to do. What we're gonna do is come here to the top, grab the rectangle tool, make sure fill is set to none, and click on the word stroke, set solid color, and we'll use a stroke width of about 10. And all we're gonna do is draw out a rectangle or any shape that you wish to create in 3D. So once you have your shape here, make it a 3D layer and go to Edit, Duplicate. Grab one of the layers and hit P on keyboard for position and set the Z position to about 40. And just to show you that we'll put this object in 3D space. Then what I wanna do is do another duplicate here, then hit R on my keyboard for rotation, set the Y rotation to about 90 degrees. And then I'm gonna open up shape layer, go to the contents, go to rectangle one, go to rectangle path. And then I'm gonna go to my active camera drop down and set this to top. And what we'll see are some lines here. These two parallel lines are the other shape layers here. So then all I need to do is break the chain for size and resize this until this line can fit between them. And then all I'll do is hit P on my keyboard for position and adjust the Z position to be right in the middle of these two lines. So it'll look like this. And then select the X position and move all the way over to the left. And you'll see that closes it up. Then we'll do one more duplicate and we'll bring it all the way over to the right side. And now we'll have this rectangle here. Now if I go back to my active camera. All right, so now that our 3D rectangle is done, all we need to do is go to layer new camera, click OK, and then go to layer new null object and just parent the camera to the null object by pick whipping. And you can hit R and keyboard for rotation. Make sure the null object is a 3D layer and all could stopwatch for say Y rotation. You can do a time asterisk five. You can copy the expression and then all could stopwatch for Z rotation and paste that in there as well. And now if I scrub through this, you'll see that I have this perfect 3D shape and it looks pretty cool. So then what I can do is grab all the layers, go to layer pre-compose, we'll call it 3D, click okay. And then what I can do is take this layer and move it around my composition, go to edit, duplicate, move it around randomly and do this a few times, create some copies. And then I can just move this layer forward in time to offset its rotation. And I can also hit S on my keyboard for scale and scale this down uh, and change up the scale by a little bit for each of these uh, shapes. And feel free to create as many duplicates as you want because when you stack all this together, you can put together a really cool composition. Before we move further into the video, creating animations and edits from scratch can be absolutely time consuming. That's why we've developed over 20,000 templates for Adobe After Effects and Premiere Pro. With our Motion Duck extension, you can preview and apply templates with the click of a button. Then you can easily edit everything within the template to fit your project. So instead of spending hours on something that can take minutes, be sure to check out our templates with the link in the description below. You can also download our free 100 template pack as well. And now back to the video. So moving forward, I wanna create some more shapes like these circles here, which have quite a bit of animation to it. So there's not just a simple circle. To create a circle, we'll grab the ellipse tool here at the top and hold down shift on your keyboard to draw out a perfect circle. Then we'll open up our ellipse, go to transform ellipse one. We'll add a keyframe for scale. Move that keyframe forward in time by almost a second, set the scale down to 0%. And then move forward to almost halfway through and set the scale up to like say 140. And this will create an overshoot animation. And to smooth it out, grab the last keyframe, hit F9. Grab the first keyframe, hit F9, and make them easy, easy keyframes. However, we want to keep this animating and not just static as time goes on. So we'll go to that last keyframe, go to ellipse path, add a keyframe for size, move forward in time to almost two seconds, and let's go ahead and scale this up by a little bit. Then Alt click the stopwatch and type in loop out with a capital O, open parenthesis with a quotations ping pong. Make sure your expression looks just like mine. And now this will continue to pulsate throughout the rest of your life. So that's cool. And then to add some more animation, what we can do is uh, hit P on keyboard for position. Alt click the stopwatch for that and type in wiggle, open parenthesis, maybe a 0.5 comma 50, close parenthesis, just like this. And now this will just kind of be randomly moving around here just like that and that looks great. So now that we have our circle all set up, we can then take it, move it around our composition, duplicate it, hit Astron keyboard for scale, scale it down very easily. And just like before, we'll create a handful of unique duplicates that we will randomly move around our comp. So now you can create these animated circles or you can use any shape that you wish. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to create these very simple lines that you see just randomly animating in here that's coming and going, it looks really awesome. So to create a line, grab the pen tool, 
and click a point, hold down shift and click and add another point just like this and this will add a nice straight line. What we wanna do is open this up, go to add and add trim paths. We can then open up trim paths, come here to the end, add a keyframe for that, move it forward in time maybe by like a half a second and then set the end to 0%. So this will animate the line in and then right at that last keyframe there, add a keyframe for start, move forward to a second and set this up to 100% and this will animate the line out. And you grab all the keyframes, hit F9 to make them easy ease. And now if our line ready to go, what I wanna do is go to layer pre-compose, click okay. We'll call it line, click okay. And right at one second, what we wanna do is right click the layer, go to time and enable time remapping. We'll add a keyframe right here at one second. And if we come here all the way to the end of the layer here, you'll see that there's a keyframe over here on the right side, delete it, alt click the stopwatch and just type in loop out with the capital O, this time, just open and close parentheses, no ping pong, just like this. So now this will repeat the line on forever. And as before, you can take the line, move it around your composition, you can duplicate it, you can hit R in keyboard for rotation, we can rotate it by like say 45 degrees, and we just create a handful of different variations just like we have previously. And of course, make sure you offset those layers in time as well so they're not coming in and animating at the same moment, and then you should have a handful of really cool uh, objects inside your scene. All right, the last shape we'll create are these arrows, which is super easy to create. We'll come here, grab the pen tool, and we'll turn on the title action states by clicking on the crosshair. And with no layer selected, I'll go ahead and add a point at the top of the crosshair, add a point on the left side of the crosshair, and a point at the bottom side of the crosshair. I can adjust the stroke width here at the top, and you know, there you have it. And then we can open up our shape layer, go to add, and add a repeater, open this up, go to the transform repeater one, and adjust the X position. Feel free to animate this however you see fit, but you know, as before, I have another object in here that I can rotate and move randomly around my comp and duplicate it a handful of different times. All right, so now we have a lot of different shapes in here. So how can we take these shapes and make it a little bit more interesting, have this sort of scrolling background where it's repeating on forever, and maybe also change a few colors to you know brand it a little bit. So what I'll do is grab all of our layers and I'll go to layer uh, pre-compose and we'll call it shapes all click okay. And to create this uh, scrolling motion, it's very easy. All you do is go to effect, uh, stylize, and you grab a motion tile, which is one of my favorite effects because it allows you to easily add a keyframe for tile center, uh, move forward in your timeline, and just increase the Y value or the X value. And this will repeat the animation on forever. So you see, and as we animate through our scene, you'll see that the shapes are just simply being repeated and it's as if we added a lot more shapes than we actually did. So it's a really cool effect uh, to use here. Now, a quick way to change the colors of the shapes is very easy. All you need to do is go into the, our shapes again, and you can change the colors here at the top, or you can go to effect, generate, grab, fill, uh, and then just change the color to whatever you want. And then you can quickly just copy that fill effect and just paste it to a handful of other layers uh, and feel free to just change the colors uh, that way. It's a very simple way to do it. And then feel free to variate the colors as you see fit to create a really interesting scene here inside of After Effects. As always, if you're new to our YouTube channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button as we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week and always be creating.